The Joint Review Panel reviewing the environmental assessment of the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline is expected to submit its report by the end of this year. Meantime, local artists have weighed into the debate. A new art exhibit is drawing criticism and starting conversation. Grim images of a pipe going through a forest. Just one of 19 pieces in a controversial new art exhibit at Two Rivers Gallery titled Pipeline, a line of division. The exhibit sends a message. I think that art is about communication. Certainly it's about all the aesthetics that are included, but it is about communication and this provides an absolutely wonderful forum for people to talk about this very important issue and this hopefully not occurring event. Renowned local artist Betty Kovacic is one of the contributors. Her piece is called Connected, representing what she calls the essential elements of earth, air and water. I think that the dangers inherent in this particular uh, pipeline are too scary to contemplate and most certainly in the past there have been some disasters that have not been looked after very well. A Penny More is a painting by Corey Hardman. It's a piece about rain rainbow trout with pennies on their eyes, which I guess um, speaks to the tradition of putting pennies on the eyes of the dead. Hardeman believes the exhibit speaks to the tremendous impact this project will potentially have. She's also firmly against the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline. I think that um, it's, it's vital for artists to take up the work of criticizing government and, and industry. The exhibit is meant to start conversation and it's already drawn criticism by pipeline proponents. It just adds to the controversy uh, without uh, talking about the benefits and the facts. Uh, if I'd been asked to submit, for example, I would have, uh, if I could paint, uh, I would have uh, submitted pictures of shiny new hospitals and schools and, and new roads. Kinsley says opposition to the project is not based on fact and that opponents are overlooking the benefits to come. Uh, I asked the, uh, you know, the people that uh, run the art gallery, do they know where their funding comes from? It's, uh, it, it's from a, a healthy economy. It's from uh, governments who collect taxes on royalties. The former mayor says trying to overcome opposition to the Northern Gateway project has been incredibly difficult. We've tried with the facts. I mean, uh, this has been probably the most exhaustive, open, um, process in Canadian history. Meantime, the project's opponents will continue their fight through protest or paintbrush. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.